Hello everyone, so welcome to Get Set Embedded. So in this video, we are going to talk about the prerequisites to learn embedded systems. So if you are new to our channel, that is to Afco.com, so go and check out all our videos. We post videos regarding embedded system and C and we'll post videos about a lot of things. So maybe subscribing to our channel would be a good option for you. So let's get started with this video. So why this video? Because I believe learning requires planning. So if you want to get started with embedded system, you should be aware of the prerequisites to learn it. So if you're planning to get started with embedded system, then this video is definitely for you, my friend. So let's see what are the basic subjects that you can learn while you are in your engineering and what are the extra subjects that you will learn that we will talk in the further videos of this series. So as you can see in our list, we have these six subjects that are very important and that you can learn as the prerequisite and that will help you in learning embedded system in a great way. So let's see the list. So number one is basic electronics. Number two is digital electronics. Number three is computer architecture and organization. Number four is microprocessors. Number five is C programming basics. And number six, and last but not the least, assembly language. So if you're planning to learn embedded system, then start with the basic because each of the, these subjects have their own reasons to be on the list. So let's discuss why the particular subjects is in the list. So let's talk about why basic electronics. So what exactly is basic electronics? It's a subject where we, you will learn about those small things that make up a very large part of electronics. You will learn about diodes, you will learn about light emitting diodes, you will learn about transistors and various other components and these components will help you in a long run because then you will understand how exactly things are working you will understand the difference between digital and analog you will understand what kind of sensors you're using and many more things so that's why basic electronics is an important part of your list plus you will understand the schematics so let's see why digital electronics is in our list because it is this subject that will help you understand how exactly registers memory timers and counter works so if you know that transistors combined together makes logic gates and logic gates combined together makes registers the smallest memory unit in your cpu and these things like timer counter they will all have their meanings in embedded system and to understand them each and every behind of the behind the scenes i think learning digital electronics is a must for anyone who want to learn embedded systems so why cao so see the full form of cao is computer architecture and organization so because it is this subject that will help you understand the concepts of bus arbitration memory organization processor architecture so it is this subject that will make up the basic for your embedded system because in future when you will learn about various architectures like avr arm and you will learn about various communication protocols like i2c spi can then you need this subject for then you will get to understand memory organization and arbitration so then comes why microprocessor i think i need not to answer this but still it's a part of the list so i really need to discuss and tell you why exactly microprocessor is an important part to this list because without microprocessor how will you understand microcontrollers and without this the concepts of flag registers and how exactly things will work together and the smallest architecture that is a 8-bit or a 4-bit architecture for microprocessor will help you in understanding these big microcontrollers 
so if your base is strong then things will make up their own way in your life so let's talk about why c programming and assembly language is an important part of this list so it is so because the journey starts exactly here without knowing c programming and assembly embedded really loses its meaning so at the last all i want to say is keep learning because no thief however skillful can rob one of knowledge and that is why knowledge is the best and the safest treasure to acquire so good luck stay tuned to our channel and if you really like this video then don't forget to hit that like button and please guys share about this channel with your friends and let us grow our community so that we at duafco can learn great things together so that's all happy learning guys